Feds open up new Tesla probe after two Model Y steering wheels come off. Ooh, more Model Y steering wheel problems. What's yeah. going on, Will? This was all over my feed, but I don't know. Is this like a huge problem? Like they, they knock out so many cars, but like two steering wheels? I think it's off? it's uh, the significance of this particular fault that it's not like uh, a loose mirror or oh, yeah. uh um, a f yeah, faulty, I don't know, latch on the glove box. It's the steer. It's a steering wheel. Yeah. And if it comes off while you're on the highway, you can understand that could be a very pretty mm -hmm. dangerous mm -hmm. scenario. So we talked about the guy who took delivery and then the steering wheel popped right off on the freeway and then he changed his Twitter handle to guy whose steering wheel fell off. Model, why did my steering wheel fall off or there something? There you go. There you go. Yeah. It was very clever. Betty, Betty, Tesla has yet another federal headache to contend with. On March 4th, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's Office of Defects Investigation opened a preliminary investigation after two reports of Tesla Model Y steering wheels detaching in driver's hands while driving. I don't know if this includes the original case or if this is two extra ones an associated press report says then one of the two cases the wheel detached five days after the vehicle was delivered to a customer in new jersey according to associated press tesla initially told the aggrieved owner that it could fix the broken car at a cost of 103.96 tesla later replaced the car for free so that that sounds like the original guy yeah because it was in new jersey and he got the 106 dollar quote mm -hmm. so i guess there's been another one added to that no listen Two vehicles is not a lot, Will, but it is the significance of this particular problem. Yeah, you're right, yeah. And it's the how quickly after the vehicle was delivered. So you start uh -huh. to wonder, oh, are we about to see 50 of these to happen? Yeah, this happen? is not user error. It's like a manufacturing <laughs> fault. And it's a sudden separation. The document states the sudden separation occurred when the force exerted on the steering wheel overcame the resistance of the friction fit while the vehicles were in motion. And that both incidents occurred while the vehicle still had low mileage. So they're like, okay, is this an out-of-the-factory deal? This is not a long-term use type of deal. Model Y is extremely popular, though, as you mentioned, Will. So we don't know how widespread it is, but they got to do the investigation nonetheless because of the seriousness of it. And the fact that it's Tesla means that we're going to see the headline. If you had two steering wheels fall off of a Honda Civic, it wouldn't be here in Ars Technica. Yeah, and we wouldn't be talking so let's about just. It. Let's just full disclaimer on that. Like, obviously, any Tesla problem is going to get more attention because it is the new, it is the innovator, and therefore capturing one's attention. Sure. Tesla shares old footage of Model S with Fal Falcon Wing door prototype. Oh, wow. The S had the Falcon Wing at a, at a moment as at well? At a certain point, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know How that. How cool is that? While seeing a Model S with Falcon Wing doors is pretty awesome, Tesla won't release its premium sedan with those signature doors. Footage provided a glimpse of Tesla's past when it was developing the doors for the Model X, I guess using the Model S at the time. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. Interesting. So we have a little video clip here. Whoa. Jeez. Those really look like Falcon Wings when you see them like that. Uh-huh. Well, see, this clip here is the X. Yeah. Right? And so that's how it's going versus how it started. It's kind of a mechanical contraption Attached. glued onto yeah. the top of a Model S, not integrated as if they were ever going to use it, but kind yeah. of it looks more just for for testing and manufacturing mm -hmm. just to give a rough idea of what it's going to be like on a car, not that they were ever working on it for the S. It was probably they just had the S at the time because the yeah. X didn't exist. And had the same height as the Model X. It's pretty yeah. wild, this door system. I mean, it's like a lot of things that once it's been out, you kind of become accustomed to it. And, and something about the, the human, being a human, yeah. you can get used to almost anything. But you look at the prototyping and you look at the complexity and you realize that there's so many of these out there now. And then... When you watch videos on the space needed for these things to operate, like in incredibly tight spaces, mm -hmm. the tolerances and, and everything that had to be considered if you're going to have a door go up instead of to the side and setting certain heights if you have low, low ceilings. I'm not sure they would ever do it again 
and I believe Elon is even possibly quoted as saying something similar mm -hmm. because they were really trying to make a, an unusual vehicle. They did, but now it doesn't represent a significant portion of their sales. And we have all types of questions about the future of the X and the S and mm -hmm. increasing price drops and the eventual Cybertruck. And you kind of wonder how long it'll exist in its current uh, formulation. Yeah.